we're in the number property section and we are going to do division with exponents practice. This is gonna be fun. We just have to, when we're dividing powers of x, we basically just subtract the exponents and that's all there is to it. So here we're gonna have nine minus three equals six. So we're gonna get x to the sixth. I'll tell you why in a couple of, after a couple of practice runs, but let's start with the what. Make sure we, we have it down. Okay, so we have b to the sixth over b to the ninth. So we have six minus nine equals negative three. So we should just get b to the negative third. Okay, how about this? Well, we have seven minus one equals six. So we should just have i to the sixth. How about this? Okay, four minus one equals three. So we should just have t to the three. Over here, we'll have four minus nine equals negative five. So we'll just have v to the negative five. Okay, let me just take a second to explain why this is happening, right? Um, it's like if you have, in this case, if you have three P's on top and you have nine P's on bottom, three of them cancel out. You're left with a one on top and you're left with six P's on bottom. And a negative means bottom and a positive means top. So you're basically just counting the number of p's and subtracting them to see how many you end up with on top or on bottom, right? So three minus nine is negative six. So you'll get p to the negative six. Over here, one minus three is negative two. So e to the negative two. Two minus 10 is negative eight. So x to the negative eight. Five minus nine is negative four. So we have y to the negative four. 10 minus seven is three. So we have e to the third. This is a pretty simple, I don't wanna say it's simple. I mean, I think it gets hard when you're trying to combine it with other stuff, but on its own, it's a pretty simple rule. Uh, let's see, see what level two is. Okay, the numbers get a little bit higher, but same idea. Uh, we have nine minus 16. So what's nine minus 16? Negative seven. So X to the negative seven. Six minus 17 is negative 11. So W to the negative 11. Okay, 11 minus five is six, right? So if there's a bigger number on top than on bottom, you'll end up with a positive exponent. If there's a bigger number on the bottom than the top, you'll end up with a negative exponent. So in this case, you'll end up with six Gs on top. So it's gonna be G to the sixth. Uh, here you have 20 is bigger than eight. It's gonna be a negative exponent. 20 minus eight or eight minus 20, right? Is negative 12. So you, you could also say 20 minus eight is 12 and you know it's gonna be negative. So you could say negative 12. That You could do it that way if you want. So this is just n to the negative 12. Uh, 14 minus 10 is four. So you have s to the fourth. One minus 18 is negative 17. So g to the negative 17. 20 minus seven is 13. So we have m to the 13th. One, so again, where is it, what, is it going to be positive or negative exponent? Well, we know it's negative because the 20 is bigger on top. Sorry, the 20 is bigger on the bottom. So if we do 20 minus 1, we get 19, but we know it's negative, so it's y to the negative 19. Or you could say 1 minus 20 equals negative 19, whatever you want. So y to the negative 19. 15 minus 11, 4, so we have z to the 4th. And 
i to the 16th over i to the 6th. 16 minus 6 is 10, so we have i to the 10th. And let's see what we have at level 3. Same thing. Uh, whenever you see O in these problems, just realize that's an O. That's not a zero. Um, so that's just 14 minus 15 is negative 1. So that's O to the negative 1. Okay. Practice your exponent division. I'll see you next time.